So happy new year, and it's a new year and a new you. And this year, you've decided that you want to learn more about color grading and maybe photo editing. You want to get more into it. Well, this is the channel for you. So today, we're going to start this new year off with what is the difference between Lightroom Classic and Photoshop CC, and what one is right for you. And I'm going to start right now. Now, I love photo editing. It's by far one of my favorite hobbies. And I ended up doing it so much, I'm now a professional at it. Uh, I've actually got a full run channel, which you're watching now, which is all about photo editing, both in Lightroom Classic, but also Photoshop. And I've worked out which one works for different types of situations. And I find that although these are both photo editing softwares, realistically, they're vastly different because of how they work. So today I'm gonna to be working out which one is right for you by kind of splitting it into two categories. So by the end of this video, you should fall into hopefully one of these categories to work out which software is going to be best for your editing workflow. So the first software we're gonna be talking about today is Lightroom Classic. Now Lightroom Classic is a catalog based photo editing software. Now what does that mean? Well basically if you're editing more than one photo at the time, Lightroom Classic likelihood is probably going to be the one for you. How it works is you upload a variety of photos into a catalog or for instance, a collection, for example, then you can go ahead and batch edit them using presets, for example, or obviously you can edit them individually as well. Now, what's great about this is you can edit large amounts of photos fairly quickly. What's great about Lightroom Classic is it's got a great amount of features and sliders which can easily be copied and pasted from one photo to another fairly seamlessly. You can just simply use the copy and paste tool as well as for instance, creating a large catalog with a variety of different work than you can name. Now let's say you're a wedding or an events photographer, for example, or you want to get into doing that. Lightroom Classic is probably going to be your best bet. Now it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that Photoshop has, but it has most of the stuff that you're going to need when it comes to either color grading or simply changing the exposure. Let's say you shot a photo and it was auto, like for instance, the white balance was off. That's something you can easily fix, for instance, in Lightroom Classic. But for instance, let's say you wanna do something a little bit more extreme, like adding text, then obviously Lightroom Classic doesn't have that, then you're gonna go ahead and use Photoshop. But if you're a catalog based photographer and you're working on large amounts of photos and you need to edit them quite quickly, Lightroom Classic is definitely going to be the software for you. And because Lightroom Classic is a catalog based system, you can export multiple photos at the same time. Now, yes, you can technically do that in Photoshop using Photoshop Actions, but it is far easier in Lightroom. So if you're wanting to export a thousand photos uh, with a slight preset change or a slight exposure change, Lightroom Classic is going to be better for you. Where Photoshop, unless you set up a Photoshop action, which is similar to a preset, but is a little bit more complicated, then you're gonna have to do everything individually, which can sometimes take a lot of time. But of course, if you're wanting to do something a little bit more extreme, then that's where Photoshop comes into play. Lightroom Classic is great for changing the exposure or changing the color grading or fixing profile corrections, but there are a few limitations that it has. Uh, one of them, for instance, is content aware, which is by far my most used kind of tool that I use in Photoshop. Photoshop is great if you're doing a lot more detail to your work. So for instance, let's say you're a fashion photographer or maybe a fine art photographer. This is when I would recommend using Photoshop. Now where Photoshop differs from Lightroom Classic is it's not a catalog based software. So you're editing one photo at a time. So you go ahead, load up one photo and that's all you've got on your display. You can obviously load up multiple photos, but realistically before you if you upload more than 10, it ends up getting a bit complicated. Now, the big difference between Lightroom Classic and Photoshop is Lightroom Classic is what you call a non-destructive software. So basically, when you go ahead and open up a photo, you're not editing the raw photo. So you know your photos are safe. And then you go ahead and export it. You export it as a different photo. But Photoshop, on the other hand, is destructive. So if you go ahead and double click on a photo and open it up, you are going to be changing all of that information on that photo to that raw image. So again, this is where you have to be a little bit more careful. You have to press save as instead of save, otherwise you'll save over your original photo. So if you are someone that works on a lot of photos and you're not, you, don't, you basically don't wanna work them on non-destructively, so you wanna have raw photos, then you wanna kind of use Lightroom and then export them separately, Lightroom Classic is gonna be really, really handy. But 
If you're being really intricate, you're smoothing out the skin, you're refining the hair, you're whitening the teeth, you're removing spots, you're uh, kind of copying and pasting the background, using the clone tool, anything like this, then Photoshop is, is going to be far superior over Lightroom Classic. Another big difference between Lightroom and Photoshop is Photoshop works on layers. So you can add and subtract layers and it's a good way of working non-destructively within Photoshop. You can add a new layer, paint all over that layer, then delete it without affecting the layer below it. Where Lightroom doesn't work with layers. So it is destructively to that specific layer that you've got, you're only working on one. Now there are ways, I guess, uh, the, each slider works on different so sub layers, I suppose you could say, but ideally, it doesn't work as well as Photoshop. You can have hundreds and hundreds of layers in Photoshop where realistically you're only being able to add as much as you can within Lightroom. So if you do like working with layers and working with opacity and things like that, Photoshop has got you covered where in Lightroom you don't have necessarily that ability. Now, like I was saying, Photoshop has a vast variety of tools that allow you to photo edit to a better level, I think, than Lightroom Classic. Think of Lightroom Classic like a sports car. It does one thing really, really well and that is drive fast or edit really, really fast. It is great when it comes to going through photos. I, you know, I can edit a photo in like 30 seconds when it comes to Lightroom Classic. And because you can copy and paste using a thing called a preset. Presets are really helpful to speed up your editing workflow. And I've actually made a dedicated video on how you can use presets in Lightroom. But Photoshop, on the other hand, is like a Swiss army knife. It's a bit like an SUV, for example. Go anywhere, do anything. You can really do absolutely everything within Photoshop. You can add text. You can use the liquify tool to reduce someone's hair, for example. You can use content aware tool. You can use the clone tool. There's so many tools, I can't list them all. Uh, there's so many tools in Photoshop that allow you to really customize your photo. But this takes time. It takes a long time. Let's say I'm editing a photo in Lightroom and I want to do some of the skin tone effects. Uh, I would go ahead and bring it over to Photoshop. I'd probably spend like 40 minutes correcting the skin. Or, so it takes a lot more time and dedication using Photoshop. There's also another example why you'd want to use Photoshop over Lightroom. Let's say you're a web designer, you're a UI designer, or a user interface designer. Let's say you're a graphic designer. That is where Photoshop is going to come into play. Because of the vast variety of tools, you basically got a blank canvas that you can pretty much do anything to. You can open up a blank canvas, in fact, where Lightroom, on the other hand, you only can open photos. So if you're a web designer that does a little bit dabbling, for instance, in, in, in photos, then Photoshop is going to be far superior than Lightroom. But if you're just a photo editor, maybe Lightroom might be the software for you. Now, as each software gets updated by Adobe, the gap between them does start to narrow. Now, something that's recently been added to Lightroom that Photoshop has always had is masking. Now, masking has been in Lightroom for a while, but it, I must say it wasn't very good. And if you were wanting to ever cut out something or create a mask, Photoshop was usually your first port of call. But due to obviously updates and artificial intelligence now being added into the Adobe CC suite, Lightroom Classic has got far better with masking. So you can use subject detect and things like that, which weren't traditionally added within the original Lightroom Classic. So slowly and steadily, the gap is being bridged, but there is still a big and fundamental change between masking in Photoshop and masking in Lightroom. Again, you're working with layers in Photoshop, so you can add and subtract to that layer using layer masks, where there isn't such, well, at least at the moment, there isn't such a feature found within Lightroom Classic. So if you are planning on creating cutouts and things like that, then Photoshop is far better at the moment. So as you can see, there is a actual vast kind of grand canyon wide distance in between Photoshop and Lightroom Classic. And it just because they both edit photos doesn't mean they edit photos in the same way. So I hope this kind of cleared it up, the difference between Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. Now, of course, if you want to learn any more, this is the channel you want to stay at because I do both Lightroom Classic and Photoshop tutorials here. Color grading is something that I'm quite good at, especially in Lightroom Classic. So I've got a dedicated playlist that you can find in the link in the description. But if you want to learn more about skin softening or increasing the lips or anything like that, for instance, portrait related. I've also got a playlist in Photoshop. So it all depends on what type of photography or what type of photo editing you're interested in. If you want to take your time, you want to make sure your photos are 100%, Photoshop is the one for you. But if you're more of a professional and you just want to get photos edited and out the way, out the door really quickly, but you're working in a catalog, so you've got a thousand photos instead of just one to edit, 
Lightroom Classic is definitely going to be the one for you. But write it down in the comments below what one you think is right for your editing workflow and why. And hopefully it'll help out other photographers trying to bridge the gap in between what one is right for them. Of course, me, both of them are. I love using one and then jumping over to the other, then jumping back and then jumping forward. So I find as a hybrid worker, I love using both, but maybe one is better for you. Write it down in the comments below. Again, guys, if you want to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it really does help me out, especially if you're interested in photo editing. I do both Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials on this channel, and I release two videos a week to make sure to stay subscribed for that. Again, guys, I've been James for Photo Fever, and I'll catch you guys next time.